Here's an interesting property that will come in handy in a number of contexts that the kinetic energy of a system of moving parts can be thought of as both the kinetic energy of the individual parts moving around or we can think of it as having two terms, one part essentially being the kinetic energy of the system as a whole, one half times its total mass times the square of the velocity of its center of mass, and then the second term being the kinetic energies relative to the center of mass, in other words, the sum of one half times their individual uh, velocities squared times their individual masses. Here's how we'll set up the conditions so that we'll prove that property. First of all, we find the center of mass of the system. The system has n individual parts, each has mass m sub i and velocity v sub i. The velocity of the center of mass we've already looked at, that's total momentum divided by total mass. The velocity of the center of mass, unless there is an outside force, is not going to change. So then, since we're asked to visualize the system as the particles moving relative to their center of mass, we'll have to come up with some way to describe that. So I'll define velocity relative to the center of mass, and I'll call that for ease of noticing things, u instead of v. So u will be the velocity of a particle relative to the velocity of the center of mass. So that's going to be in the laboratory frame, the velocity of the particle minus the laboratory frame, velocity of the center of mass. And so we can just then solve that for the laboratory frame velocity of each particle i, and it's going to be the velocity of the center of mass plus the center of mass frame of reference velocity of the particle. So then the total momentum in the center of mass frame of reference, which I'll call p prime, will just be the mass times the velocity in the center of mass frame of reference. The velocity in the center of mass frame of reference is the velocity in the lab frame minus the velocity of the center of mass in the lab frame. Distribute through the terms for our summation, we get sum of mivi, and then this term, the sum of mivc. Well, what's this mivi? This is just the momentum in the laboratory frame. And this v sub c does not depend on the individual i's, so that can come out of the summation. So we get v sub c times the total mass. Well, the total mass times v sub c, that's the total momentum of the system. And so we've got total momentum minus total momentum, and in the center of mass frame of reference, the total momentum is zero, which makes sense, but here we've just verified that it's true. Total kinetic energy in the center of mass frame of reference is just the sum of the kinetic energies of the individual particles, one half their masses times their velocities, and here we're using the velocities relative to the center of mass. Now in the laboratory frame, the total kinetic energy is the sum of their individual kinetic energies. The kinetic energy of particle i is one half mi vi squared v, because that's the velocity in the laboratory frame. Now, the velocity in the laboratory frame was equal to the velocity of the center of mass in the laboratory frame plus the velocity of the particle in the center of mass frame. So we can substitute that term in, square that, expand it over here, vc plus ui squared is vc squared plus 2vc ui plus ui squared. Now we expand that, we distribute through the 1 half mi and make three different summations. The first one, 1 half mivc squared. The second one, uh, the 1 half cancels the 2, and we've got the sum of mivc ui. And the third one, we have 1 half mi ui squared. Well, this first term, the vc, center of mass velocity, doesn't depend on the particles. That's the same for all the particles, so that can come out of the summation. So can the factor of 1 half. So we have 1 half vc squared times the summation of m sub i. The second term, again, v sub c can come out, and we have v sub c times the summation of m sub i u sub i. And the last term, that's the sum of all the kinetic energies in the center of mass frame of reference. Well, this first term, 1 half vc squared, this summation of all the masses is just the total mass. That's just 1 half mvc squared. The second term, vc times the mass times velocity in the center of mass frame of reference, well, this summation is just the total momentum in the center of mass frame of reference. The last term we mentioned is the, the total kinetic energy of the particles in the center of mass frame of reference. So this first term, 1 half mvc squared, that's essentially the kinetic energy of the center of mass. The second term involves the momentum in the center of mass frame of reference, which is zero. And the third term is the kinetic energy in the center of mass frame of reference. So what we've got is the total kinetic energy equals the kinetic energy of motion of the center of mass plus 
the kinetic energy in the center of mass frame of reference. We'll find that this theorem will be useful over and over again when we're looking at collections of particles or extended objects.